Ladies and gentlemen, Rusty McGee. Today I consider myself self, 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 self. <laughs> the luckiest man, 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 man. It's a very special night for me because, well, tomorrow I start on my tour as Daddy Warbucks in Little Orphan Annie. <laughs> It's a bus and truck. Susan Stroman is directing it to non-equity production. That's a joke for the Ann Arbor crowd. There are there people upstairs and people on Dag Hammerskull Plaza watching this program right now? Dag Hammerskull, the guy you don't hear a lot about lately, you know? When I think of all the great Secretary Generals of the UN, you know? Dag. Who remembers you, Thant? They always published, last week they published the top 10 names that babies were named in New York City. I always expect to see you in the top 10. It's never there. Um, thoroughly, thoroughly, and totally fooled. Yes. Um, you know, in ways that, like, you know, I'm seeing Kevin Spacey in The Usual Suspects going from like this to, and then walking straight. You know, that's like, my wife did, did a stratagem that uh, rivals a Tom Clancy novel. Uh, I think I know now why she almost bit my hand off when I reached for her cell phone once. Because I think, like many other things, uh, an event like this with the surprise factor could not have been uh, accomplished in, in, in an earlier age without a lot of uh, notes handed and Billy Doos and stuff. Billy Doos. <laughs> Lewis will uh, provide. <laughs> Mark and Joanna are saying, take out the French, take it out of the act. <laughs> it won't play in Peoria. Um, email. Email. There you go. That's, that's what does it too. That's right. Email and, and uh, cell phones and, and sex and candy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's like a contemporary song, and I'm trying to get it in for the young folks there. You know? I'd like to do my medley of Limp Bizkit tunes now, too. Um, do we have places to go? Because I, I just, could, could I go over to the piano? Um... Christopher McGovern sat here and played my melodies and my, my, my songs beautifully. And Mary, Mary Testa, uh, Rebecca Luker, and Allison Fraser. Um, uh, let the man who. Sightlines. There we go. Sightlines, all important. Uh, let the man who is. Uh, oh, I didn't know we had this. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hank Myman. Um, and it was very appropriate the sh that the show started with Steve, Steve Olson, who started my career here in New York City 21, 21 years ago.
and, and to have Rand Forster uh, here tonight, who ran the West Bank Cafe uh, downstairs theater bar with Lewis and I for 10 years. Um, I, uh, I am so, I, I say this every night, that I uh, am blessed with the, the love of family and friends and could not in my wildest, uh, wildest dreams have imagined that they would be so uh, loving and supportive to, to put together an evening uh, of this magnitude because this just, this, this, um, this is so healing to me and so therapeutically wonderful <laughs> that I can't, I, I just can't tell you. Because I, you know, I, you know, I thrive on this shit. It's like, uh, I, um, uh, my balls just got about three sizes bigger. Um, do balls have sizes? Uh, no, I just, yeah. Thanks. And Nat, we'll have a talk about that a little bit later. It's not your bar mitzvah today. I don't know, it makes me think about the years we spent in this room. That's Grafasi, isn't it? Yeah. Sing the old songs, Rusty. Yeah, do it. We sang so many songs in this room starting in 1982. And there was a world out there to conquer, a world, the world of Manhattan, the world of New York City, and the world beyond it. But we stayed down here in our little basement. <laughs> You know why? You know why we stayed down here? Well, because we thought we were better than them. We had all gone to Yale Drama School and we... Well, to tell you the truth, we were better than them. But, you know, we didn't want to violate the prime directive. A few Star Trek fans laugh. We all know that Kirk and Picard are not allowed to change a planet's culture. But Lewis and I and Rand decided we would try to change the planet's culture. And so we snuck out there in the dead of night and pretended to be theater artists. And we looked at what they had to offer and we said, we can do better than that. And we wrote our own musicals and we did our own stand-up comedy routines and we, we sang our own song and we directed our own plays and we were summarily rejected by everybody. <laughs> it was kind of a bummer. Sure, we were before our time, or we were after our time, or we were right during our time, but in the wrong place at the right time. <laughs> and we watched people who were our peers and our equals ascend the heights to fame. And we sang their song. I can't live if living is without you. I can't give, I can't give anymore. I can't live if living is without you. Rusty found a cute little uh, device. It was to change the word you to Lou in every song. I can't live if living is without Lou. For 
for a while we were a team. I would open for Lou or he would open for me. But let's flash forward. It's the 80s. No, wait, it's the 90s. No, wait, it's the thousands. And now here we are in the year 2002. Did we ever think we'd say that, children? I, I immediately subtract 12 years from any conversation I have about anything because my mind cannot quite wrap itself around the fact that it is the year that it is. But... <laughs> I gave my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. That's all I have to say. Uh, <laughs> we gave our best. And I have, I am so proud to have seen Lewis's star rise because it is ascendant. I'm sure I know what you're thinking. He's kind of cute, bald. But you know, we hope that look don't last forever. Yeah, I guarantee you all it's gonna grow back. But it'll still be a little bit thin in front. But I'm not obsessed about my hair, no, not too much. And I sang the songs of Bruce Springsteen on his stage when he appeared less than 12 blocks away on the same night. And I sat in this room and I sang the songs of Carol King when she sat right over there against the wall under the sconce light. And I sang, stayed in bed all morning just to pass the time. There's something wrong here that can be no denied. And I started waxing poetic about Carol King. She was sitting right over there. I said, you changed our lives with your songs. <laughs> you still be so easy living here with you. You work by easy now, and you just what to do now. You look so happy and I feel like a fool. Too late, baby, now it's too late. So we're ready to feel like that. Something inside has died and I can't hide and I just can't. What they do? Smile in the face. All the time they want to take your place, the backstabbers. Carol King, meet the OJs. OJs, Carol King. How appropriate that a song called Backstabbers was by the OJs. Sometimes I have to look around a little bit for my shoes. Yeah, and I, when I get a call every morning from Halstead Properties saying, do you know what the bedroom below you sold for yesterday? I get those old, I'm stuck here in New York and I ain't quite got it all going together and I'm fighting a dreadful fatal disease but my apartment's worth a shitload of money blue. Could move to New Jersey. I'd like to move back to Michigan. But I'm gonna stay right here in Manhattan. I wanna have to start my life all over again, yeah. I got the love of friends and family. I got everything a man could ever want and have, and I'm blessed that I'm happy as can be. I'm not going to go 
on for much longer. It all started in Georgetown Hospital on a hot summer day in 1955. You do the math. No, I'm not gonna go on for too much longer. I just want to sing a couple of songs that mean a lot to me and my brothers. Yeah, I got my two little brothers here tonight. Yeah. And I'm singing the blues because I'm thinking about my older brother, Bobby McGee, who's no longer with us, but he taught me the love of the blues. We went to the Ann Arbor Blues Festival. You know, being the son of a neurologist growing up in Ann Arbor, Michigan, I got a right to sing the blues. I miss Bobby a lot, but I know he's here with us in spirit tonight. And like I said, everything's okay, uptight and out of sight, and everything's gonna be all right. I got the, I ain't got no reason at all to sing the blues. Thank you. Music makes its impression on us, usually at our youngest age, when we're in our early adolescence. And I sing in my comedy act about how maybe we're born in 1876 and the music of um, Ernest K. Balls came over the, came over the harmonium. <laughs> oh, the moon is bright tonight along the Wabash. Through the fields there comes the smell of new mown hay. Through the sycamore the candlelights are gleaming on the banks of the Wabash far away. Or maybe it was World War II and you were 14 years old and you sang, For all we know, this may only be a dream. We come and go like the ripples on a stream. So love me tonight. Tomorrow was meant for some. Tomorrow may never come. For all we know. Maybe you were a teenager in the 1950s. Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue, pretty, 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 <laughs> Peggy Sue, my Peggy, my Peggy Sue, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. oh, I love you, girl, yes, I love you, Peggy Sue, maybe you were a teenager in the 1980s, oh, songs that have this introduction. <laughs> Suddenly this is morphing into a Burt Bacharach retrospective. <laughs> We've seen enough of those on PBS. 
So let's keep it uh, in the realm of Rusty McGee, uh, which is the realm of... Um... No, let's cut to the chase. You know, Allison, my lovely wife of 18 years... I love you so much for putting this together and to bring together my brothers and, and Mike and Carol and Margaret and my Ann Arbor friends, Chuck and Josh and their sp spouses and all my loved ones whose names are just too innumerable to mention and I know you're all here and I just want to get off the stage so that I can give you all hugs and, and tell you how good I feel and how excited I am about my recovery and my... Can we... Can we write? Can we can we write one of those wrongs that happened in the universe? Can we just please make Rusty famous for a couple of years? That's all I ask. And you know, uh, and uh, let's avoid the P word because I don't want it posthumously. Please, I, I want it now. I want my cake. I want to eat it. So, Allison. Uh, Allison is very insightful. She's looked at the hundreds of songs I've written for, uh, for, uh, for the theater, for television, for film, for pop music, and she said, you've never written a song about me. And it's, you know, it's true, because I only write songs about events that make me sad or unhappy, and, and she has never done that. So um, I, I don't have a song that I've written for tonight, because I sure as hell didn't know this was going to happen tonight. But I, I, I get into my kind of universalist thing. I look into the lovely eyes of my wife, regardless of what co color they are. And, and <laughs> we can erase that part for the CD. Um, and, um, and I go back to what, ha what became my signature song, because when I look into the eyes of my wife, as I say, it doesn't matter what color they are. So let's sing this song that we know and love and I dedicate it to my wife uh, yeah. hey where did we go yeah. days when the rains came we go down in a hollow and I remember I remember, remember playing a new game Hiding behind a rainbow's fall In the misty morning fog The misty morning fog The misty morning fog I remember my heart was stomping with you My brown-eyed girl You were on my, my, my brown-eyed girl Whatever happened, I want to know what happened Today is just so slow Going down the old mine with a transistor, transistor radio. It casts my memory back there, Lord. Sometimes, you know, I'm overcome. Sometimes I'm overcome thinking about making love in the green grass, making love in the green grass, making love in the green grass behind the stadium with you. My brown eyes. For me, that stadium was Ann Arbor, Michigan Stadium. 101,000 capacity, and it's up to like 107,000 now. But I didn't know what Van Morrison was talking about when he was talking about making love in the green grass behind the stadium. I thought stadiums were meant for other purposes. I was just a young virgin growing up in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Shipped off to private school in seventh grade, never having tasted the savor of love. You are on my, my, my brown eyed girl. Think about Van Morrison writing that song. Think about where's Van Morrison tonight? He's probably in a, in a bar in Ireland or Wales somewhere singing old Rusty McGee tunes. <laughs> I 
Allison named this evening Sweet Appreciation, which is a lyric from the Walt Whitman poem that I set to music that we heard sung so beautifully by Rebecca Luker. And so I give you all my sweet appreciation. Um, you, you are loved and you are cherished and let us, uh, you know, just let, let's love each other. Let's, um, let's carry forth uh, healing and loving thoughts to me to all the people who need comfort in the world. And um, God, God is love, love is God, and God bless you, and may love enwrap in, in, in your souls and encase you. Um, point all your arrows in the same direction, and that is love yourself. Love yourself as much as you can, and love everybody else as much as you can. And, I'm, I'm trying to start to live my life by those two ideas and approach every every decision uh, I make, every breath I take, every chord I make. I'll be I'll be watching you. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for what is just a remarkable, wonderful evening. Uh, let's do a couple of courses of. Uh, do you remember when? I want to hear y'all sing. We used to sing. Sha la 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 just a whisper now And Nancy and Cindy singing And everybody just whisper it now And the three men I admire most Henry Winkler, Ronnie Howard, and Donnie Most. They caught the last train for the coast. The day that Potsy died. And we were singing bye bye. me and you, I do, I think about you day and night. Why am I looking at Carol while I sing this? <laughs> to think about the girl you love and hold her tight, so happy together. So I should call you up, invest a dime, and you say you belong to me. I lose my mind. Imagine how the world could be so very fine. Si contente ensemble. You don't know how many times I've wished that I could hold you. You don't know how many times I've wished that I could mold you. You don't know how many times I wish that I could hold you into someone who would cherish me as much as I cherish you. And I'm looking over at girls I slept with everywhere. <laughs> And you know, I think I've taken this staying in touch thing to an extreme. <laughs> Is the cake getting heavy? <laughs> Um, ladies and gentlemen, I have to find a way to end it, as my college actor teacher told me. Uh, Lou, you're the pro. Uh, we're going to uh, actually have the cake, and then we're going to come back and do another show so you can actually construct your ending. This gives you time to think about it, Russ, something that I know you love to do. Because that will allow you to distract yourself. This will give you two jobs. Greeting everybody, and what the fuck are you going to do when it's over? Sweet, i